Well, an outgoing member of the National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party, Dean Roth Odermi, is calling for a review of the party's constitution to either scrap the position of the deputy national officers or be assigned more tasks that don't want to be redundant. Well, the former party officer made this request during a valedictory service for the outgoing PDP National Working Committee members, saying the position is currently redundant. Meanwhile, the former acting national chairman, Yemi Akumi, is asking the incoming National Working Committee under the leadership of Senator Yochia Ayu to work towards restoring power to the PDP. We met officially with the former chairman, Prince Uche Secondus, only three times. Our complaints for engagements were rebuffed, up to serve were dashed, and we were rendered inconsequential. We have to rely on rumor and hearsay for information about our dear party. We have to lobby for engagements and assignments. Of course, our positions as deputies did not come with any monetary allowance, and so we were not given. Even where there were social outings, we were never taken along, we were never invited, it was that bad. I therefore, on behalf of my colleagues, want to call for a constitutional review of what we have as a constitution in this party. Please, the position of deputies is either scrapped entirely or some rules assigned to them. I sincerely welcome the incoming members, this time under the chairmanship of Senator Yosha Ayu. And I pray to the Almighty God to guide them through the various two or two thousand and three are going so that under them we will reclaim our 2019 stolen mandates. We must remember when we think about the Uche Secondus and the warming leadership of the People's Democratic Party that we brought a situation to this party where Ghana must go came to an end. It must be in our record. We gave this party the opportunity to its members that if you fight at the grassroots and you won your election in the primary, nobody can come to Adata and change names. We achieved that. All right, well, for more on this, we're joined by Kola Alabodion, who is the National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, Kola, uh, glad to have you join us on the program tonight thank you very much well we must right. say congratulations <laughs> i mean a four-year <laughs> tenure uh, coming to an end okay, I, officially I thought, today um, i yes. thought you were congratulating right? him for going out oh, yeah, right. that's, okay uh, good well, fine. That's accepted. Fine. Yeah, it is. fine okay <laughs> well let's start this way you are asking the governor of edo state obasagi to come and clarify issues that has to do with bribing officials of PDP to get the PDP ticket in Edo State. Yeah. How true or how not true is that? Yeah, you recall that as part of the altercations that um, characterized the emergence of uh, Governor, Governor Baseki as a candidate of the party, there were allegations bordering on tax collection. And as NWC that is going out, we believe that we must clear the air on that aspect. And that is why, in my own remark, I oh. demanded that there is a burden which only Governor Baseki can clear. We have been called tax collectors yes. on account of your emergence as the candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Edo's election. And you have remained silent without clearing the air. The time has come. Since we are leaving office, you have a burden to clear the air. Whether you gave money or you didn't give. As far as the National Working Committee members are aware, we did not collect money from Governor Godwin Obasek. And we demand that he should address this issue because it's in public space. Yeah, but why has it taken this long for the outgoing National Working Committee to uh, call Obasek to clear uh, this particular issue and really you, you just said in that report that uh, the era of Ghana must go has come to an end 
I'd like you to address that. And, of course, the issue of the deputy positions within the PDP, that they're more or less redundant. Might as well just, you know, jettison it or change the party constitution. Which one would you, you know, want to say is the way to go? Ngozi, where you, you, you want to know why it took the party such a long mm -hmm. time. Well, it didn't take the party a long time. Immediately that allegation was made. The end of the UC responded by saying that we have no tax collectors among us and that nobody gave us a tax. However, we believe in the NWC or the outgoing WC that this, there's a moral burden which only the governor that was involved in that election, consequence upon which the NWC members were tagged as collectors, tax collectors, can clear the air. So that's why we have asked him to please, because it's also a moral burden on him. Mm. Whether, okay. he, whether, he's whether we want to accept that or not, that's also a moral right, burden we'll on wait him. and see if he'll uh, well, clarify well, that. But do address this issue. The uh, issue, the of, issue uh, of, uh, deputies of deputies the and the issue yes. of Ghana must go. <laughs> I said it clearly, and under this NWC, this outgoing NWC, led by Uche Secondus and later by uh, Elder Yemi Akinwami, if there's anybody who said, I paid to end my ticket, they should come out. And even in the valedictory remark of the National Secretary, mm. Senator Sauri, he said nobody should protect us if anybody gave us money in the course of getting the ticket of the party. That we should not be protected, we should not be covered. Right. Should, people should come out and say that I pay so and so and so amount to so and so person mm. before I got a ticket. All right. I can emphasize it as a fact. Yeah, but address this, this other issue. issue. Yeah, the issue of uh, the deputies. Yes. Well, he, he, uh, the other me who happened to be our colleague and was my deputy has raised very germane issues as they concern the constitution of the party. Twenty seventeen has amended. He has said it openly that look, the office of the deputy, which responsibility is to support the substantive officers of the party, should either be jettisoned or be amended with functions, because as we speak under the constitution. It is the substantive officers that the, the constitution assign responsibilities to. Mm. The constitution does not assign responsibilities to deputy. Mm. They can only function where the absence. The, the, the absence. No, not absence. Okay. Okay. Where the uh, substantive officer have assigned responsibilities to them. Okay. Because under the constitution, even if a substantive officer passes away, it is from his own or his local government or his area that is a replacement will come from. The no, deputy that, does not step into the... No wonder he's calling for a change of constitution, mm. caller. Mm. But let me ask you these two questions. One is, it's, it's a fact that your four years reign, PDP, shamefully, I must add, has no secretary of his own. Or no secretary of his own. Now, Okwesileza Wondo, your party member, accuses this outgoing NWC... Mm. No, with, no I'm sense. coming. Okay. You would you clarify that yeah. uh, of squandering 10 billion left in their account uh, of the PDP secretary. At the time, take, you came this, in. Take, take this question to your supported the signing of the electoral amendment bill by the president. You have the issue of direct primaries passed by the National Assembly. Are you saying that's okay with you? Well, well, well let me take it one after the other. First and foremost, Ngodo did not accuse our working committee. Okay. Mwodo accused every working committee that came after he had left office. Okay. So it's not about the secondus led NWC. But he said when, including he said when yours, he, no, 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 no. He said when he was leaving, he said when he was leaving office, yeah. he left so, so and so amount of money. Ten billion in the coffers or ten billion, whatever it is right, called, yeah. in the coffers of the party. It is not. You know when he left office, you have had about seven NWCs after he left office. Or five NWC. But that's still after he left. That's still on your so, PDP's so, head. No, no, no. Yes, it's, it's in our party. It's mm. not in any other person in our mm. party. So if he said he left such amount in the office, today at the valedictory session, the national treasurer made it clear no money was handed over to our NWC. He made it abundantly clear. And I want to place on record. When you say no money, not yes. a dime. Him, not a dime. Him, not okay. a dime. All right. Was handed over to our national working committee. And I also need to make this an emphatically so too that even the funds that were generated in the course of our leadership, we did not take decision on expenditure without taking budget to the highest authorizing officers, which is NEC, 
for approval. All right, the question of the so, so amendment. Now, the, no, not the question of amendment. The question of the secretariat. No, no, I'm even talking about amendment. I will go there. I will go there. We don't, the have, question, have, we don't have time. Yes, the please. question of the secretariat. It is wrong and totally misplaced to say we don't have a secretariat. But that plaza belongs to the People's Democratic Party. So I want to leave it. The that issue that. is not that you don't have a secretariat, no, but says, that the said, secretariat has remained the same as it as was it when you became, you know, well, of course, when no you, one block. Yeah. No, no, no that's what, that what, what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. What he's talking about. If he's talking about the secretariat that's under construction, I can understand. Wadata House, no, Wadata House no improvement is, in the Wadata House. House. No one no block has been added. I can I mean, say that there's no improvement in Wadata House. Wadata House is a completed structure. Okay, collateral so that need, you need, in, need, in 30 need, seconds. If it, if it needs to be painted, mm. it, it was painted mm. during the course of our session. Okay. We, but we had a new generator. So what do we want to add block to there? There's nothing. If you are talking about the Secretary of that construction, that's totally a different Okay, the question, yeah, the question of whether of, you are okay with the direct primaries. The direct primary or no direct primaries. Our party was the first to come out mm. when the process was being handled to say that APC must not foist his own system of primary on any other political party, including the PDP. That was our position. Mm -hmm. But from the wisdom and knowledge of my side and of leaders of the party, we know that this same bill contains the transmission, the electronic transmission of results. And unlike what happened in the third term bill, in which both the baby and Baitwater were thrown away, we are saying now that, look, if the president wants to sign the electoral uh, amendment uh, bill, he should sign it. We will, go to, we will go to the court and look at the areas that we feel are not convenient or they are not supposed to be, and okay. we demand from the court judgment. On those right. aspects. But now, to say that, oh, because of this uh, direct or indirect primary, they should throw away the mm. transmission of results and other innovations contained in the new bill is totally needless. All right, Kola uh, I wish we had enough time to ask you what next for you after now. And well, his success <laughs> is yes, uh, it during is. his four years tenure. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us on Newsnight. Thank National Publicity Secretary, outgoing yeah, National Publicity so Secretary Kola. of the PDP, Kola Logbondi.